There are some rumors floating around that we will be seeing an original villain in the Power Rangers Ent Whistle reboot. This is some pretty big news if this ends up happening. Let's talk about how an all original villain will look like. Break it down. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time. For the fan club. Let's go! Hey! I can't do this on my own. Cause you know things ain't always sweet. When you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morphs, I made a fake. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the fan club. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to tune on in here. We have been hearing some rumors that there will be an original villain for the Ant Whistle Power Rangers reboot. I love that we're actually hearing some type of noise, even if it's just rumors and little chatter in the background. We're still getting some type of information about it, which gets you thinking that they want to go in an all original format for this project and not necessarily adapt a Sentai season so they have full freedom. If it works, great, we can continue something like this. If it doesn't work, we can always go back to adapting seasons of the Sentai but Hasbro owes it to themselves after they purchased this brand years ago to go all in, try to hit a home run and see what happens. Ping Pong Flicks reported and said that from his sources, he hears that we are not getting a adapted villain from past seasons. No Rita, no Zed, no Malagor, anything like that, right? We are getting an all original villain and it makes a lot of sense when you sit down and really think about it. Power Rangers through time has been using less and less Sentai footage and going more original so they have more control over everything. I think that the sky is the limit for this brand if you get the right people behind it and sell it to this audience over here. I know with the 2017 movie, it was not a bad movie. There were just a few things that were missing to really capitalize off of a mainstream audience. They didn't lose that much money, but it was still kind of considered a failure because they didn't generate enough money to give them a sequel, which the whole goal with Saban was he was trying to make four or five movies out of this and he couldn't get past the first one. I think the idea behind this going to Netflix is way safer. I actually think that if it can start building on Netflix, someday it could lead into the theater, but the numbers weren't that great and Hasbro isn't trying to make movies so they can just lose a bunch of money. I know there's other companies out there like Disney that can afford to kind of make mistakes on movies. But Hasbro can't, man. They're already in a weird situation right now. There were layoffs. They have to be strategic. Even though they're not going anywhere, they have a lot of brands that are still making them money. They have to be smart. I believe with this reboot project going to Netflix, if it is good, if they do a good job, you can pretty much guarantee you will get a second or third project with it, right? Now, when it comes to movies, it can be a good movie. It still has to make a lot of money. And of course, the numbers are going to be a little bit better on Netflix because there's only so much new stuff that comes out. And the Ranger fans always run up the numbers as soon as a Power Ranger project comes to Netflix. It's always trending in that first week. Do I wish it would trend longer than a week or two? Hell yeah but it definitely trends. People come to watch it and if it's good and actually an older show, a TV 14 show that can reach another audience, this project could trend for a lot longer, sell a lot more merchandise. Let's see what can actually happen for Power Rangers 
What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I would absolutely love to see a TV14 project that is original because we've been doing the same thing for so long and it's nothing against Toei. Toei has admitted that they want to do their own thing too, that they've been talking about a break behind the scenes because they might want to branch out outside of Japan. That would be cool to see Toei releasing some shows over here. But then Power Rangers could still do their own thing and it would be all original. It would be a little crazy if you had like, like the Power Rangers adapted show still going on, but it's Toei, but it couldn't be called Power Rangers. Like, how would that all work? Would they flip it where they throw some money to Hasbro to use the name Power Rangers over here? Like, what? I don't know. But all I know is that they desperately have been wanting to do more original content. I mean, it shows with Dino Fury, also with Cosmic Fury, that they're wanting to break free from what Toei is doing. And their seasons in the last few years have had some costumes that would be tough to replicate over here. It would be tough. Now, King Oger looks freaking sweet. I'm not going to lie. I would love to see that. I'd love to see some Kira Major adapted. But I know Zen Kaiger and Don Brothers would be tough to adapt. With that are so many restrictions and things that you put behind the season, even though you're only using three to four minutes per episode, it dictates your whole episode and season, if you will. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I have to shout out all of the fans that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs, the reason why we can continue to make videos like this one. Even though Power Ranger news is not coming out at a rate like normal, we are still going to be here covering everything because you guys mean the world to us. Keep watching, keep running those numbers up, and we will see you in the next video. Peace, Rangers. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Dig Wyron, Tim Rage, Roderick Hare, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Oger, Roderick Ham, Jason Morazis, Willie Maloney, Louis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Skurd, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, Savage Sal, Tim Brown, Sean Schiffer, The Cosmic Nerd 24, Bruce Walters, and Austin White. Thank you guys so much for your support, and if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. Go. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say something funny. funny.